Welcome to Notion and Productivity with Productivity HQ. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use Freeform. It's an Apple app that's like a blank white canvas and I use it to plan out my YouTube goals, my life goals, and even create just regular vision boards, mood boards, anything like that. And Freeform has been a game changer for me in terms of organizing my thoughts and visually mapping out my plans. Before we dive in, let's talk about some of the perks of using Freeform. So with Freeform, it's a completely versatile and user friendly. And here are a few reasons why I love using it. One, it's a flexible canvas. I can freely drag and drop and arrange items anywhere, making it perfect for brainstorming and planning. It includes text, sticky notes, drawing tools, and more. So you have everything you need in one place and you can easily share your boards with others and collaborate in real time, which is great for team projects. Lastly, it can sync across devices. Freeform syncs seamlessly across all of your Apple devices. So your plans are always accessible. As you can see right here, I only have my vision board for last year and then this year. They look kind of similar. I tweaked some things just because, you know, I made this towards kind of the end of the year when I came across this and I was on and off using freeform and now I'm really back in it especially with having this new YouTube channel productivity headquarters teaching guys how to use notion and how to use utilize it better to just boost your productivity so to start out right here I have my 2024 YouTube board and I'm going to show you guys the tips and tricks first of how to use it and then I'll come back for a part two I'm going to show you guys the different things you can do and how to do them so when we get to part two you'll be fully ready to go ahead and plan with me and we can do that together so to start out as you can see I have it here kind of like in this spider web kind of look and I know a lot of people use vision boards and they actually use poster boards in real life like physical ones to plan out everything but this is something where it can expand really really far like if I wanted to I can make this big as I wanted you know what I mean it goes really really far and you can zoom in a lot also as you can see like I have small little things right here and these are from before these are older and I have to actually change those because this is for my other channel I also downloaded some fonts right here as you can see these aren't the standard fonts and I'll show you guys how to import fonts and different things like that before we get started so let's start off with that the first thing that I do is go actually go to defont.com and defont.com is just a home base for a lot of free fonts I know a lot of people use this I know a lot of people actually purchase fonts which there's nothing wrong with that I know a lot of graphic designers do that and for defont they have a decent amount of fonts in here like a really good amount so for me I went in here you can scroll through look for the different fonts you may want I already have mine but you can pick yours it's over here it has different categories at the top for you fancy foreign look techno gothic all those different things so you can go ahead and choose your first font and once you do that let me show you how it will look once you download it just so you guys can know exactly what you're looking for once you get started once you download your font it'll go up here to your download bar what you'll do is go to your finder and it'll be up here you'll open up this zip file and it'll expand it and your fonts will be right in here and then the next thing you do with apple is you'll go to actually your font book and once you go to your font book you'll just resize this over and you'll drag in your fonts so I'll give you a preview of your font that you've just downloaded. If you have different versions of it, it'll be here in this top bar and you'll just go ahead and install. And if you saw at the bottom where it said it had different variations or any issues, typically that's because maybe it's downloaded two of the files or there's some additional thing with it. You can either press skip or just install both just to make sure you get everything that it has to offer. So now this should be inside of your font book. You're going to go back to your freeform board and we'll go here and you'll click show font. Once you highlight it and you click those those little three dots and you press show fonts it'll pop up here and that name was snack oatmeal right there snack oatmeal but oatmeal kind of sounds better and there it is it'll change your font completely so that's how that is the font that i'm currently using if you guys were curious is let's go to it cameron is this font right here so that's the current font that i'm using is cameron and then i'm using this color green if you're curious about what color it was right here this is the hex color if you were curious about the color also because i know sometimes when i'm watching specific videos i really want to know the exact details of something one of the big things that i said you can do is add in the small little text box and you can have different layers on layers so that's the first thing i'm going to show you. you're going to click this top little a right here and it's going to create a text box for you so we're going to zoom in really quickly and we're just going to type something in. Hello. There you go. And right here, you can change the boldness of it. You can change it to italic. And you can change the alignment also. 
and then right here there's the fonts and then you can also make it bulleted numbered and dashed so that's a really big perk say if you have a list that you want to put out or anything like say if you have one goal but you want to break down your goals in here and that's something we're going to do in part two when we're planning out my youtube goals for productivity headquarters they also have the option to add in shapes so the option to add in shapes you go up here click these two little shapes the circle and the square and they have to begin with the basic geometry shapes objects animals all these different shapes and the good part about it you see this is blue but the thing is you can also change the color so let's click a shape and we'll choose maybe a dark blue or a black or a gray maybe a purple or a pink let's choose pink you can also change your sliders in here to change the color if you really want it to and for these these you can also create outlines for them to make even more of an emphasis on whatever shape you're adding and you also can change the slider on here for the outline to a different color too so like see if i wanted a gray around it, a green we can do a green outline and you can also change the weight of the outline so that's a great part about it another thing that you can add in which is in the shapes category is lines and as you can see i utilize lines a lot and you just put them anywhere you want but the great part about it is you can really connect them to each other so you see how this one is also an arrow but it's not connected to anything it's just like a free moving arrow with the other tool that they have at the top this one right here it links different text or shapes or things to each other so what you can do is drag it here put it there like that as soon as you click it it'll tag to the nearest thing that is by and it'll move so this right here we'll put this one next and we'll tag it to this shape so as you move the shape around it'll stay stuck to it. Same thing for this. If you were to move this word around, it stays stuck to this little box that it's connected to. So they link different objects together. Another good part about Freeform is that you can also add images or links in. And say, for example, I wanted to add in my productivity headquarters. So we'll do that. So you can also add a link. So if you have something that you wanted to save, or even if you wanted to make a board full of things that you may need to purchase, or you want to plan out your Christmas plan, anything you want to plan, you really have the opportunity to do this in this full board and you have all this space so also outside of that the shapes and things like that you also have these little boxes right here which i utilize here just because i wanted to you know emphasize what i'm trying to do in my different goals so i put inside a little box so you can do that up here at the top also what you'll do is go to your shapes and we'll go ahead and click this shape right here expand it out and click on it once you click on it change the thing to no fill and you'll go to outlines change the outline to the last one and you'll change the weight of it and there it is so you can create different boxes that don't have don't have any fill and you can also add in your text to the middle of the box just how i did another option you have if you don't necessarily want boxes or anything like that you can also add in sticky notes so with sticky notes it has like that kind of shadow effect on it as you can see and you can type directly inside of your sticky notes so there you go and you can still change it to bold you can still change it to italics you can still change all of that within your sticky note too change your alignment make it bulleted and also change the text size and you see how detailed it gets once you zoom in and even over here on my text it gets really really detailed you can literally see the font details that's another reason why i do recommend when you do create your freeform boards that you do pick different things that make your boards unique to you and you don't just make it some standard thing make it fun just like you would with a physical vision board and actually going back to all of my vision boards on the side here you have your recent say for example if i had multiple vision boards they'd be over here in recent or the ones that i've shared and then you can make favorite vision boards so let me show you how you can actually favorite them it'll be this little heart up here once you're hovering over it it'll be a heart right here in the left hand corner you'll click that heart and it'll be in your favorite and to actually create your vision board if you're new to apple products typically whatever that pin icon is with the little notepad or square that's how you would create a new vision board and when you start it'll be blank just like this it'll be nothing on it and you can go up here and double click or either click once and change the title to whatever you want it to be and it'll be blank and ready another thing you can do is 
when it comes time to collaborate and share your board, you'll have this little option up here that's like a share or send off button. And it says share this board and you can airdrop it. You can send it to notes. You can put in your reminders. You can send an invite link, put it in your reading list, mail it, anything like that. And then it also has the option for the people you collaborate with. You can change the ability of what they can do. So it basically says who can access and who can make changes like their permissions. Is it just view only? Say if you want to just run some ideas past someone or you're sharing something like and then right here also anyone with the link so say for example if you are planning a trip and maybe you may be busy it's two of you guys planning a trip or planning out something anyone who has the link they'll be able to have access to this board so that's a neat perk that freeform offers you and typically that's something that apple does across all of their platforms where it comes to sharing and accessing things that you can edit. You can also change the view instead of having a gallery view. It can also be a list view if you prefer this look also. So let's go back. We'll go ahead and delete this. So we'll just press control click and we'll delete the board. And you also can favorite, rename, duplicate your board from here, open a new tab or open a new window. And you also have the option to share when you press control click also. But we're just going to go ahead and delete. Another thing that I recently found out is that with Freeform, you can also insert your screen recordings here. So I've done a couple of screen recordings just testing out before I did this video. So we're going to drop a screen recording in here. Here. and I'm going to show you guys what that looks like when you put a screen recording in so what it will do is press it'll pop up and it'll say inserting and you can even put videos in here not many apps that let you create vision boards or just free boards just all around allow you to add in video content so right here I have the video that I screen recorded earlier and you can also change it to where you open it all the way. You'll, you see this little eye icon. You'll be able to open it up here. Back to the notion of productivity. And there you go. So it'll pop up. And then you also can press this play button in the corner. Back to the notion of productivity. And it'll also play from your board and you won't have to expand it. Another option you have right here is to see the original size, maybe the name of the video that you're putting in and you can also replace it from here so if i wanted to i could also replace whatever image or whatever video i have here and it'll just load up and populate so when you do press the original size button it'll actually expand to what the actual dimensions of this video would be so let me go ahead and click it and show you guys the sizing of it it'll actually expand all the way and you can see it very very clear which i feel like apple is really good at doing is not dropping the quality of the things that you work on they don't typically drop quality of things and i love that so going back to adding in images and videos so you see how i just went in and i put that video in here you can also add in photos photos is another thing that you can add in and it's up there at the top so right here if i wanted to actually add in one of my photos i would go ahead and click it and this is one of my sayings that i've said like a while ago i used to say a lot and it's i aspire to inspire which is my main goal is to inspire everyone to want to be better to improve their life and work on things that they're dreaming of so they can become their reality after that, you also have your files. You can go ahead and open up actual files if you were to open, which I'm going to show you with if you go to Pinterest and you guys do use Pinterest a lot and you actually want to build out a board instead of just having all of your photos and different things saved in one folder and you actually want to expand it and make it a vision board. They also have that option. So right here, I have different photos and I'll just add them all in and you'll have all your photos added into one place. So let's just expand them all. And like I said before, Apple is really good at not dropping the quality of your content. So as you can see, I do have two different YouTube videos that I'm getting ready to drop. And that's just a sneak peek. If you've seen this video, you know the next videos that I'm getting ready to drop. I've already worked on those thumbnails. And that's another thing too. You could also use this as a place if you wanted to plan out your YouTube content. If you wanted to plan out anything that actually requires a lot of space and you want to be able to see it all at once like say for example if I wanted to I can go ahead and create a text box here and I could actually create my script let me actually show you guys something that I was working on so for one of my videos because I plan my YouTube videos in my notes instead of notion just because it's easier for my mind and I use Notion to really house everything. So say, for example, for one of my Notion tours, which is my favorite pages, what I could do is go ahead in here because I already have it planned out. Don't look too hard, guys. And right here, I can do my description and then I can go ahead and paste it 
into here. So we can delete this text box and I can go ahead and paste that into here. Say for example, if I had this already strategically planned out and I wanted each video to have its own spot and I wanted to do it day by day and I want to see, see it expanded, I could do that. So I have the YouTube description there. Let's change the alignment. So we have the description there. I can have my script here. I can read off of this screen. Say, for example, if you have an additional screen on your phone, your iPad or anything like that, because remember, it syncs over to other devices. You could have it here and have everything that you need. Another good part about this is you can crop your images if you wanted to zoom in and crop out your images. And like I said, it still has that, that background glowy effect. And I love that about Apple. Oh my goodness, I cannot rave enough about it. So another thing is you can go ahead and do the original size like before, and you can do the remove background, which is pretty neat that they have that option in here. So say for example, if you were working on something or if I'm gonna show you in a minute, if we did get a picture from Pinterest, which actually let me grab one now and then we can actually do this live. So let's go in Pinterest and we're gonna grab an image. Say for example, if we wanted to remove the background of it, we could do that right then and there on Freeform. So say, let's just do this one right here. If we wanted this MacBook and only this MacBook and we wanted this look that it actually has right here, Go ahead and download this. We can actually just copy the image, but you can also save the image. And we just, let's zoom out again and let's paste the image into here. So the image is here and it's ready. So what we'll do is zoom back in and we're gonna make this its original size. We can actually remove the background. So what we're gonna do is go up here, click remove background and it'll remove it for you. So if you wanted certain images and you wanted the background just taken out, you will go ahead and remove it. But what I will say is when you are putting the images in, you notice how I put copy image. What you'll do is actually download the image. So if you actually want to remove the background, make sure that you actually have the image on your desktop and it's actually in your computer as if you own the image and you possess it. You can't just copy and paste the actual image into here. But there's also still the option to copy and paste if you weren't planning on removing the background. And going back to the arrows, there's a different way where you can make your arrows kind of checkered. And I'm going to show you, show you guys that really quickly. So let's go ahead and make our arrow a little bit bigger so I can show you guys. So it also has the option to change the size and the weight here and the color per usual. And then you also have the dotted, the dashed, and then also kind of like that artsy brush stroke look to it and then you also can change the tail end to maybe a circle and then the other end to maybe a actual arrow with two points so you also have that option same thing for the regular lines they also still have dotted dashed and then that paint brush stroke and you also can change the weight here too last but not least before we end off this video there is an option to actually remove the dots on your background. So you see in this little bottom corner, you have the dots on this little screen here. When it's really bolded, it's showing that your dots are there. And then when it's not, it's showing that your dots are hidden. So if you wanted to see how this look without any dots behind it, and you actually want to see how it will look maybe printed on a piece of paper, anything like that, it also has that option here. And then another thing I wanna show you guys is up here in this bar. You can also access all the different things from up here. If say for example, if you couldn't really remember what these meant or you want to you prefer using the top toolbar, you also have all your options here. Say for example, if you wanted to mask anything, if you wanted to show the colors or anything with your format, aligning your objects. So say for example, if I wanted to align all of these object objects right here, do them horizontally, they'll even it out, which you notice you saw it kind of moved. And then vertically, it slides it down. And then say, for example, you want to make it even. It'll adjust and make them all aligned together. So that's also something you can do at the top. You can also lock them. So say, for example, if you're moving certain things around and you're just like, oh, I got to move this. I have to do this and all those different things. It'll not move any other things that you've locked. And now that we're done going through all the tips and tricks that comes with Freeform, come back for part two where I'm actually going to be planning out my YouTube journey and just putting down everything that I have and the plans that I want to do on this actual board. And like you can see here, I already have my category split up of what I plan on doing with this channel. But when we do part two, we're really going to go in depth and create kind of little subcategories and different things like that. And you'll also be able to plan with me because now you know how to use Freeform a little bit better. And even if you didn't know about Freeform, now you know about Freeform. So 
Be sure to tune back into part two. Subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know if there's anything else you would like to learn pertaining to Apple, pertaining to productivity, pertaining to Notion, anything like that. And I'll be sure to drop a video for you. So thanks for watching.